Valeria Maritza at Healing Through You. I am an infinite being of light, and so are you. Today, I want to talk to you exactly about that. You are the light. You are the infinite being of light. And what does that mean? It means that you have the power within. And this is something that I keep talking about. And the messages keep downloading and keep coming through for me to tell you and share with you. Because as I see it, a lot of you are not believing it. A lot of you are like, it's kind of like you believe it, you hear it, you're like, yeah, yeah, I am, I am. But deep inside, you are negating who you are. The age of Aquarius is here. And the age of Aquarius means that you are going within, looking within you, in your soul, in your heart, in your higher self, for all of the answers. You are no longer looking outside of you please help me, please help me, uh, looking for an outsource of something or someone to help you see what's going on, see how to get to the next step, see um, and be absolved of sins, as you know, many religions teach us, and all of the stuff. That was the last stage, right? But this stage, this is the new stage, what we're living in right now, the new age of Aquarius, where we are being called to look within and trust that we are actually seeing and receiving and feeling the messages from our higher selves, from our true divinity, and that yes, you are worth it. Because this is the biggest misconception. This is the biggest thing that in our generation, in these years, we are moving through is beginning to forget everything that we have been taught so that we can embrace the truth, which is you're not separate from the divine. You are part of the divine. That you're not hopeless and helpless and um, separated from everything and everyone. That you are actually part of everything with all of the power, with all of the divinity. And we have been taught for hundreds and hundreds of years that it wasn't so. And you know what? That served us as a people, as a consciousness back then. But it is now all changing. And this is the part that we, light workers, healers, are beginning to open up, understand, and share with others. The more that you hear this message in different places, whether it's here in different places by different people, whether you're hearing from your own um, guides, from your own messages, the more you hear it, the more it sinks in. And the next generation, in the next 10 years, this is not going to be so hard as it is right now. So many people are already there and so many people are beginning to get there, beginning to open up, beginning to make the shift. And it's not happening all at once. It's happening with a lot of people um, at the same time, but not all at once. It's not a shift from like one moment you hear and the next one you understand it and, and embrace it. It's not like that. We need time to integrate these messages within our bodies. And that brings me to the next thing. And I am included in this. It has been the goal to reach some type of consciousness where you leave your body and you connect with the cosmos, you connect with the divinity, you connect with the light, you connect with whatever it is that you believe in. And that was supposed to be the goal that you are you have raised your frequency so high that you are actually out of your body and in this beautiful place of um, trance and connection with the divine. But that also was part of serving us back then. Now it is the time to embrace and come back into your body to feel all of the feels. You came and incarnated into this world so that you can experience feeling in a body, all of those feelings, right? All of the polarities, the good, the bad, the happiness, the sadness, the anger, all of those things, we feel them within our body. That is the experience. That is the lesson. We are here to embrace that. And while embracing that, while feeling all of these feelings, also knowing 
that the true light is within us. So that's the shift. If we are no longer separated from the divine, we are now all connected, all embracing, all one together. And with this knowledge, we are also coming back into our bodies purposely, grounding and feeling yourself be in your body, feeling every single part of your body. And with the knowledge of, wow, I'm here. I am all one. I am all connected with everything. I am part of the divine. All of those things, right? And what does that actually mean? What does it do for you? It awakens and lightens up lightens up, light, lights up, lights up, the light that you have within you. And this is the new part. You have that light within you. Turn on your light. It's in your heart. Imagine this flame, this violet flame, right in the center of your chest where your heart is. Imagine it begin to glow and to emit light, fire within your heart. That is your light that is what you connect and then when you do the exercises when you open your crown chakra which for those of you who are not familiar with this you can just imagine you have a huge beautiful flower on the top of your head like a bud that opens up all of its petals outwards and upwards towards the sun and that's um how you can imagine opening up your crown chakra that's how you open it that's one way obviously there's many many ways but that's one way the way that i use it and the way that um you might find useful if you haven't done this before. You open up your crown chakra and then you allow divine light to enter your body through your crown and begin to feel your head, your neck, connect with that flame in your heart. And once you're connected with that flame in your heart, you begin to make it grow and expand within your chest, within your body, until you see and feel this light of divinity within your body just glowing. So you see your entire body glowing in this light. And as you're doing this, you begin to activate your dormant DNA. And what does that mean? The parts of you that have been asleep, the parts of you that you have been denying, the parts of you that you have forgotten, begin to awaken and you become more and more aware of what else is possible, what else is out there, what else is available for you. Begin to feel within your body what's right and wrong within you, what feels right for you, what feels wrong for you, not what they're telling you is right, not what they're telling you is wrong, not what you hear on the news or by your friends or your family or in the books or whatever, not, not what everyone else is telling you is good or bad, but what you feel is good or bad for you within your soul. And that is returning to remembering, that is returning to understanding who you are to back to your power and then working from there because i guarantee you that once you turn on that light and you begin to make your inner light glow and shine through that nothing can touch you or get you down because the light is so much brighter and stronger than any darkness any low frequencies that might be around it is your light within your heart the light of love, the love of compassion, the love of understanding and acceptance, that is the light that can conquer anything else in the world. I am not being like way too positive and yeah, that can't happen. No, this actually does happen. You do have this power. The more people who connect with that light and shine their light outwards, the more that we heal consciousness the entire consciousness around the world, all of those other souls who are vibrating at the same frequency as you are, we rise together. And as we rise together, what happens? We bring up those along the way. Imagine yourself reaching out your hand to someone next to you who is vibrating at the same frequency as you, wanting to elevate the frequency of consciousness of the earth. And then that person reaches out their heart, hand, their arm to someone else, and you create this human chain. And as this human chain is created, what happens that you become stronger and stronger? Each person that reaches this chain and connects makes the entire chain, each individual person, stronger. And because we're all stronger together, as we are uniting, 
for the same purposes of raising the frequency of the earth, raising the frequency of consciousness together all as one, then you begin to feel that connection between one and the other. You begin to feel that connection that we are all the same, that we are true divine beings, that we are here with pure loving intentions. And once you have that, everyone around, each and every person, each part of that chain, begins to also get pulled up and lifted because you cannot be not um, be touched by this light. If you are in a completely dark room and you light up one candle, the light of that candle lights up everything in that room. And so even the darkest corners of that room get light, receive light, and you are able to see them. And that's how this works. If you are the light, everything around you, everyone around you begins to feed and touch and feel the light that is coming from you. And it reaches really, really, really far. So as you are doing this, as you are connecting to your true self, as you are looking within to connect with your power, to remember who you truly are, in this new age of Aquarius, what's happening? What is happening? That you are raising the frequency and anything that comes your way that might be of a lower frequency, and this shows as conflicts or um, challenges within in, on your life, what happens is that they move faster. They almost get repelled from your energy field. If they're super low, they cannot even enter your energy field. If you lower your frequency a little bit, yes, yeah, some of them will come in, but they will move out of your field much faster and with much more ease. That means that where you used to have conflict, let's say with a specific person or a specific situation, when you are connected with everyone with the light and you are remembering who you are, you're doing the work, you're doing the inner work by looking within, by lighting up your light. When that same situation, a person shows up, what happens? that you move through it much faster with much more love and compassion and understanding. And it resolves in a way that you would have never imagined could have been possible on your own while you were living separated, believing that you're separate from others, believing that you're separate from the divine, believing that you are all alone and not supported by anyone or anything. When in truth, you are fully supported by the angels, by your guides, by the universe. And so this message comes now at a time where it's super important to begin to trust that you are who you are, that the messages and the things that you see and feel are. If you need support, seek support from someone that you see, that you know that is already there, someone who can explain things to you, explain what you're going through and what these things are and what do they mean, right? So seek support for that if you need it, if you feel that you do. If you don't feel you need it, then great. Then begin to shine your light without apologies, without apologies, so that the other people around you can begin to feel and feed from your energy and begin to wake up. And in turn, they allow others who are near them to wake up and rise and so on and so on. It's a chain, it's a human chain. To put it in a linear way that you could understand and like. And so with this beautiful message, a reminder that you are part of the divine. And that that is what it means, that you have all of the answers and all of the power within you. And I know I keep repeating it, but the messages keep coming and it just needs to be said again. You need to hear it again. You need to embody it completely so that you can fully, fully believe it and then begin to act as if you do believe it. That's the key here. All right, guys. Much, much, much love to you. I love you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.